our creative toolbox. Today we're getting fishy and making some fish art with Topaz Studio 2. Going to be working with a lot of different filters, uh, the impression filters, some texture filters. We're going to be, we're going to do a lot of layer masking. You're going to learn a lot of things. I have a uh, link in the description below for you to download the image that I'm working on today. And I'm pretty sure most of the textures I'm working on, if not all of them, will be found inside of Topaz Studio 2 for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm starting out in Photoshop, but you could start out in uh, Topaz Studio 2 if you'd like as well. But I went ahead and duplicated my background layer so I can work non-destructively. I'm going to come up to my filter menu and open up Topaz Studio 2. And it opens up pretty quick here. And the first thing I want to do is add a filter to this. We're going to come down here to Texture. And I'm looking for a filter called Covenant Blue, and I think it's found in Meredith Textures. But you could just search it, uh, Covenant, and I think it's this one right here. Yeah, Covenant Blue right here. Okay, so I changed the blend mode to hard light. And it's always good to experiment with these different blend modes here. So let's go ahead and take this opacity up. And I think I brought it up the whole way. And the next thing I want to do is, uh, I'm going to cut the brightness back a little bit on this texture. Take it back to like around a minus, minus five, just to darken up that blue a little bit. Maybe, maybe like a minus four, I think will work. And then we're going to come up to the um, layer mask icon, give that a click, and click on brush, and want to make sure our transparency is set to black, which it defaults at black right here at zero. And then we can adjust the radius of the brush here. I want a small brush. I'm going to leave it at about softness of 50%. We'll leave the edge wear on, and we're just going to take uh, the effect off of the fish. Okay, let's start painting uh, this effect off the fish because I'm using black paint, and that'll remove it. And I might go ahead and speed the video up here because this takes a little bit of time. And you want to take your time and get this right. Alrighty. And you could also use the uh, AI Remask if you wanted to. And I do have it, but I'm not using it today because not everybody has it. And I want to show you how you would have to do it if you didn't have it. And honestly, I don't know if I would use it anyway. But, uh, you know, because I don't mind doing this painting here. Especially on something like this. It's honestly not that big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, speeding up the painting or the uh, video now so you don't have to watch this in real time because it's going to take a little bit of time here. Okay, so uh, the video is sped up now. So I'm just continuing to paint around in different areas. And I'm you'll see me vary my uh, brush size from time to time. And I'll also will be uh, varying the uh, transparency itself. You know, I'll be switching from white to black paint and different tones of uh, gray in between, especially when I get to uh, around the edges of the fins. I'll be coming up to that section pretty soon right here. And you'll see me uh, change the uh, transparency. It's more of a, a grayer tone and I'll grab, you know, I'll, the bottom of the fish is fins. I'll start to blend into the water a little bit by using a different, uh, different, uh, opacity of paint and right here is where I'm doing it, as you can see I'm changing that and just blending that in so it blends into the water rather naturally okay now we're gonna go ahead and add another filter we're gonna add the impression filter one of my favorites as you know I'm using stroke one here um, and I have it on uh, low strokes and let's see here I had a brush size I have some notes here so I have my brush around 13, and then I had my uh, width at around minus 29. So my stroke width is at around minus 29, roughly. Minus 29, and my length was around a minus 20. And you got to really experiment with this stuff. And the background type... Okay, because you can see these are the brush strokes that you see in here. But watch when I come down to texture here and change the background type to original. And isn't that cool? Voila, we have a nice, nice painting here. Now, I think what we're going to do is come up to uh, 
the paint opacity here. And let's see if we want to add some opacity. See that how you can start seeing the brush strokes start to come out when I pull up that opacity. Okay. And let's see here. Uh, yeah, I think that was all I basically did right there. Let's play around just a little bit more. Let's take this uh, rotation variation and let's play with this. Let's move this to the right a little bit. And watch the strokes in the water. I'm trying to get a little bit more like water, you know, look a little more abstract look in that water there. Yeah, and when I when I move that rotation variation, I like that. I think that looks kind of fun. Let's play with the color, uh, stroke color variation. See, if you keep pulling this up, you'll add all kind of color in there. Not it's too crazy, but sometimes just a little bit of variation in there adds a nice little effect in there. Okay, and the next step is I think I'm going to pull back some of that effect off of the fish itself, but leave everything on the water. Let's see if we can cheat a little bit and save some time. So let's come up to the texture layer mask because we've already spent time painting this in. Let's right click on it and click copy mask and let's come up to the impression layer mask icon right here and right click it and let's say click on paste mask. And just like that, we pasted that mask on and we don't have to mess around with it. Now here's a little trick. Let's click on the layer mask itself. And come down here where it says adjust right here and come to uh, where it says density and start moving this to the right and when you do notice the black of this mask starts getting more gray so what's happening is it's adding some of that painterly effect back onto the fish see if I keep moving it to the right it adds it all back so I can just you know adjust that mask the way I like it because I want to keep some painterly effect on the fish but I want to take some of it off too so maybe somewhere, yeah, maybe somewhere right around there. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click apply. That applies that mask. And now let's come up to add filter. And here's one of my favorite filters to add, and that is precision detail. I usually like to use this on paintings to make the paint strokes stick out a little bit. I'm only interested in the fish because I like the way the water looks, so... I'm going to take up the uh, medium details, and I'm only looking at the fish itself. And let's take up the small details, see if I want to take that up at all. If I do, it's just going to be a very little bit here. And how about the large details? I might pull those back, actually. Just a little bit. Let's click on the eyeball. Let's just see the before and after results. And just look at the fish. Okay, before and after. All right. I don't like it on the on the uh, fins here as much, but I do like it on this body of the fish here. So I'm going to paint that on with a layer mask. But let's go back to precision detail one more time. I just want to bump up our midtones just a little bit. Just to lighten up the fish just a little bit. And I come back, I can come back and readjust this if I need to. So now let's click on the layer mask and let's get a brush. What we need to do is invert this layer mask because it's over everything right now. So come to the three dots, click on that, and click invert. And now we're going to get a brush. So just click on your brush tool. Uh, I'm going to take my opacity up to 100% and adjust my radius here to a decent size. And I'm just going to paint this effect on the fish. I'm not worrying too much about the edges, but I mainly want it on this body here. Yeah, see that? Now I'm going to reduce this transparency to maybe right around here. Let's take a sample test here. I'm going to paint right over this part of the fin. That looks pretty good. Make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to... Make this a little more on the black side. Paint on this fin right here. Right back in here a little bit. And maybe make the brush a little bigger now. And maybe not quite as big. And I might just selectively paint over certain portions of this fin. Like so. Maybe not everywhere. Okay, so let's click 
Let's click the eyeball. Let's look at the before and the after. Before and the after. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's add one final texture and then we're done. So let's come up here to add a filter. Come back to texture. This texture will be found in the, uh, in the groups here. And you, if you have Topaz Studio 2, I'm sure you're going to have this one. I think it comes pre-packaged. Click on Borders. And it's down near the bottom here. It's this guy right here, Sun Saturation. So click on that. And I had my opacity up to about 82, somewhere around in there. 82, 83, that'll work. And I shut off the saturation totally. And then what I want to do is try to match this uh, edging here of this texture with the color in the image. So I'm going to take the color strength and start to pull it up. And I think right around 69 looks good. And let's take the color and change the hue. And I think 69 and 69 makes the color that we want. And I might just finally bump up the detail just a little bit. Maybe to like about a 10. Just to add a little bit of more, little, I, I want to keep it soft here, but I want to add just a little bit of crispness here. And one other thing, there's a little bit of um, texture over the fin here, so I want to get rid of that. So let's click on the layer mask. And um, hey, at least with this video, if you follow along, you're going to get a lot of masking uh, practice in. So let's click on brush and make sure you're on black where it defaults at. And... I'm just going to paint it off of some of these areas on the fish here, just like that. I don't think there's any there, but there we go. It's, it's gone. We're finished now, so if you started out in Topaz Studio 2, you would have to save out your project, okay, to save in all your layers of all the things you did to it, or you could export it as an image. For me, I started out in Photoshop, so I just come up to Accept. Click Accept, and that'll send us right back into Photoshop, and there we are. So if we click on the eyeball here, you can see where we started from, and we ended up here. Nice little painting. I like the little border on here. I think it turned out really nice. What do you think? Hey, well, we're all finished. This was a lot of fun doing this little fish art for you today. I hope you download the image and follow along with me. That's a really great way of learning. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and also share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.